I grew up in a Bogan family. My husband grew up in a Bogan family. Working class, although my mum always likes to pretend that we're classy and that's fine. And we can. We can pretend that we're classy and we like to dress up and go out at times. But my husband's always the person that brings down the team. (laughs) And last night we went to the Lions um, Club Championship and we have this issue every time that he goes out because he has one classy shirt and that is a Hugo Boss shirt that is pink that he got given when he was a groomsman at Mm. our friend's wedding. But remember there was an incident when we went to a wedding at the W Hotel where a guy (laughs) ripped my husband's shirt. Yeah. So that's the only shirt that he has. I'm like, oh, my God. So half an hour before we go, he goes, what am I wearing again? So no, you're a grown man and you need to start dressing yourself. And he goes, fine, I will. And I was like, oh, here we go. Yep, yep, you made so it. So he went yep. downstairs and was going through everything and he found this blue jacket that he'd bought that he hadn't wore. And then he wore it with a bright aqua shirt mm-hmm. that he got for $10 somewhere mm-hmm, mm-hmm. with black pants mm-hmm. and brown I'm shoes. It. I'm liking it. Would you wear aqua with a blue? It looked I mean, ho- horrible. And my mum just looked and went, oh, dear. I wouldn't. <laughs> but I think what happens with your husband is people go, what is that guy wearing? And then he goes, g'day, guys. And everyone goes, makes sense. Go he then on. went downstairs and he found some old pants, some beige pants, mm-hmm. and he found a white, white shirt. And then he goes, have you got any hair clips? I said, why? And he goes, oh, you probably don't want to know. Yeah. Can I just have some hair clips? Done that one too. So, oh, my God. So he went and got some bobby pins and I walked into the room and I saw him hemming his pants that were way too long with bobby pins. Mm. I said, mate, that's not going to work because everyone's going to see it. So what do you think he ended up hemming his his pants with? Some sort of spac filler gun Because that didn't work. I was like, he goes, he comes in, he goes, you're right. I both say it at the time of three because I guess you can get this. So I said to him. I know it. So he went and hemmed his pants with. Three, two, one. Fishing line. Gaffer. Oh, Gaffer fixes everything. Oh, there he goes. Gaffer fix everything. I think I, I'd want someone else to start dressing him. He can he can FaceTime you and say, does this match? Because the guy just cannot, he just cannot determine if that matches with that. Maybe he's colourblind. No, he knows what colour it is. Oh, he just doesn't He just care. doesn't know. <laughs> I think if you honestly want him to look a certain way, you have to be the one to do it. Because otherwise, he's not. it's not going to matter to him. But you need to I can understand. guarantee that he was the only man that had gaffered his pants at that venue. In his defence, though, the girls gaffer their boobs up. So yeah. <laughs> that is not. Yeah, good point. No no one one judges that them. is invisible tape. How good dare point. you? No one judges them when they strap those things to their shoulders. Dab, Abby and Matt on B105.